hard to imagine the screaming hypocrisy of the two of you reuniting in the face of Michael's tragedy. <laughs> no, you listen upset. to me. You're important to me, and so are you. You should remove yourself from this nightmare before Sonny and Carly ruin your lives like they've ruined mine. Clearly, you two are on your way to forgiving each other for what happened to Michael and are on your way to destroying someone else. I understand you're upset about Christina, but it's not your kid laying in a coma. My kid is in constant danger because Sonny is her father. You were worried enough to have your kids taken away from him, yet you won't lift a finger to help mine. Alexis, if you want to take your anger out on me, go ahead. Leave Carly out of it. That's unbelievable. You're more protective of her than you are your own daughter. Why are you do? What do you mean that you're... What are you talking about? Don't Why forget are you even that doing I'm this? the one that was sane enough all along to say that something like this would happen to the children. So don't you dare talk to me like I'm paranoid. Alexis, they've heard what needed to be said. We're going. Please don't tell me what no, to There's do. nothing more to be gained. We're going now. How can you be any worse than the mistakes I've already made? Come on. My, that certainly was dramatic. Was there any truth to what she said? It's a complicated situation, but the woman who just left is uh, kind of my ex-wife. She was very upset. Yes, yeah, she was. Ah, uh, she probably picked the wrong time to air her grievances. It certainly livened up the evening. Mm. It is getting late. Perhaps we should uh, find out the details of the Crimson preview in the next issue of Couture. Yes, those details. Why don't we go back to the office? Ah, uh, but what about your wife and your boyfriend? Should we bring them along? Uh, Sonny will give Carly a ride home. Then lead the way. You can say goodbye to Jackson. I guess I'll see him when I get home. You didn't run over and say goodbye to Kate. Well, we're working. Yeah. Working. We don't exactly fit into that, do we? Is Alexis always at home? She refuses to believe that I have no influence with you. Ah, uh, well, you know, she's just worried about Christina. No, she's mad at herself for having your child. She still can't take responsibility for what she did all those years ago. Sleeping with you? See, it's all our fault. We misled her. We're dysfunctional. It's on well, you know, and on what? and on. You know, Alexis doesn't make it easy, but I try my hardest for Christina's sake. Why did you defend me? Well, here's the deal. Michael's in a coma. We miss him very much. It's like a physical pain. I didn't feel like sitting here listening to Alexis attack you. know that she's wrong about something else but we're, you know, we're not getting back together I want you to know that I am so grateful that you gave up Morgan it's not going to bring Michael back I know that but it's going to keep Morgan safe I and mean, I always talked about how selfish you were. You know, Sonny, I know that you need to rebuild your life any way you can, but I just, I don't think Kate's gonna make you happy. Called. I don't know. It's 
It's either that or obsess over what Alexis said tonight. Well, you know, Alexis is in a lot of pain. She's you know, in she does. A lot of pain, I know. She wants to protect Christina from me because I'm a, you know, I'm such a, a, a monster. <laughs> but if she had to do it all over again, she would. You know why? Because we love that little girl. I realize that. Yeah. Well, I mean, she brings us so much joy. But that's what you know. That's what Alexis keeps leaving out. Well, she's scared. Sonny, she's looking back at a lot of regrets. She got involved with you, despite all the warnings that you and Carly would always be tied. No matter how much you and Carly say it, you're not really ever over. Are we still... Are we still talking about Alexis, or are you, or, or, or are you talking about yourself? Carly's been basically hostile towards me since the day that we met. Right. I'm assuming that she's threatened by the ways that we're different, my career, my social circle. She's told me time and time again how I'm not strong enough to hold on to you, how I don't really understand you. The implication being that you share some sort of bond that we never will. And it used to make me furious, but after tonight, I don't know, maybe my anger is because I'm actually afraid she might be right. You were the first girl that I ever loved, the girl that I wanted to run away with. And Bensonhurst, you know me better than anyone. Do I, Sonny? Where is this coming from? I'm not very happy with myself the way that I've handled Carly through Michael's tragedy. No, she's a mother, okay. Sonny, uh. and she's going through unimaginable pain. It's not right for me to make judgments, but I love you. Right. And to see her yelling at you outside of Michael's ICU room, blaming you, making you give up your sons, it's, it's not right. Okay, she wasn't very nice. We all make mistakes, Carly well, made a mistake. Oh, it's my like... God. What's it? What's, what's There it is. There it is. What? You're defending her. Oh, please. Do you see? No matter what you've been through, you two are a team. Alexis was yelling at both of you. And the truth is, you and Carly will always be a part of each other's lives. Maybe that's true. But you're the one that I love. When you saw me at the Honda Star, you knew something was wrong. You gonna finally tell me? Yes, I am. Jason came over uh, this afternoon to give me uh, a Father's Day present for Michael. Life vest for me and the boys. And then out of nowhere, Carly shows up with with another gift from Morgan, little, little handprints, you know, that he, he made. Oh, Sonny. So here I am, standing in, the, in, in my living room with two gifts from my boys that are gone from my life. So, it, you know, I gotta tell you, it felt, it felt like a bottomless pit was just gonna open up and I was gonna be swallowed in. And, and I wish you had called me. You know, I thought about calling you and then I thought, you know what, I'm not gonna, I don't know. I, uh, I mean, you do make me feel better all the time. And that there's hope for a future without violence and a chance to see my boys. You, uh, you make me believe I can have a life. You, you, you make me believe in myself. And I don't know if that's selfish or what, but, uh, I love you for that. I do believe in you, Sonny, and I do believe that we can have a wonderful life together.